hello and welcome back to my channel today we are talking all about this freshly picked diaper backpack i have been in the diaper bag world for 10 years and i have never tried this bag few reasons why when you have multiple kids i just felt like this double opening situation thing it was just too much it's like you have a baby in your arms and you have a toddler who needs something and then you have an older kid running over there it's like too much work to get into the bag but I am now out of the baby stages of my life I am into the big kid middle mommy stages and this bag is amazing I cannot believe I did not try it sooner I'm gonna show you all of the stuff that I have packed inside and let me tell you it holds a ton it holds a ton so let me change the camera angle and we'll get right into it okay so this is the color fig and it is such a beautiful neutral like almost like a pinky taupe you can see the nylon strap here has a pinkish hue to it it feels very high quality now i will note that i am somewhat of a vegan leather snob and this vegan leather is not my favorite it's just a classic vegan so over time you typically will see wear on this type of vegan leather it might chip or peel however for the price i got this bag at it was 50 percent off and then instagram gave me an extra 20% off. I do think the bag is worth it. Something to note is these awesome padded backpack straps, which is extremely rare to find on a vegan leather bag. Normally you just get like the nylon seatbelt material. So if you're looking for a bag that you can often find for under a hundred bucks, comfortable padded seatbelt straps and can hold everything you might need when you're out with your kids, this is a great option for you. You also get stroller clips, which is handy for hanging on your stroller or on the grocery cart. You get a nice big back pocket here. One thing that they could improve is putting a zipper at the bottom would allow you to put this on your luggage, but still really great pocketing. These side pockets here are nice and deep. For reference, I have iPhone 15 Pro Max and it fits in there no problem. That's where I usually keep it and it slides in and out nice and easily. I have also tried water bottles in these pockets and they fit as well. I just prefer to keep my bottles on the inside of the bag. Starting with this front pocket here, I was very surprised to how roomy this is. It does not stand off of the bag at all. However, I have this packed really full and I have a bunch of stuff in this pocket and I can still fit my hand in. One thing to be aware of is it will kind of show the, like, it will kind of pop out of the leather on the front. So I tried to pack things that are very slim so that that doesn't happen because I'm crazy with my bag. So first thing I have in here is this little guy. This thing is so cool. If you create content at all, you can just put it on the back of your phone and then it will suction to any smooth surface. So that's been really fun to have when I'm out and about with the kids. Then you do get one slip pocket in here. And in here I've just put some quick grab things for me. I have two different lip products this one is a balm gloss by l'oreal i love these they're so comfortable and then this is a lip oil from pomifera and then also in there i am just keeping my airpod pros for phone calls on the go next i have this little pouch i don't remember where i got this from it might have been from like a fab fit fun box but i love this pouch i love the sparkles and in here i'm just keeping my sharpie my regular pen my tie to go pen and my travel scissors that are literally in every bag I ever pack. And then at the bottom, I am also just keeping some gum. Okay, now moving on to the inside of the bag, like I was talking about in my intro, you do have this flat pocket, and then you have a zipper pocket, and while this is what kept me from trying this bag, this is awesome. it now. I have Wonderlust. I am so excited to be out of that baby stage and to be able to do more adventure things with my kids. So I have trips planned to the city. We live close to New York and to Philadelphia, and I just like the security of this bag that I can have it packed full. It holds everything I could ever need, but it's just a little bit harder to get into when you're traveling. In the all right, so here she is in all her glory. Look at how organized she is. I have so much stuff in this bag and it just packs amazing. So right on the front wall of the bag, you do get this really nice upper pocket. I think this is supposed to be kind of the mommy pocket for maybe your phone or your wallet. But what I have chosen to do is put my different wipes in here because kids are messy and I'm always grabbing for wipes to either clean a surface or clean a face or some hands. So those fit really great in there and I like how easy they are to access at the top of the bag. In the center I have stuffed a pretty big water bottle. This is a life straw water bottle and I really like it for when you're in a city or somewhere where you don't know if you'll have access to clean-ish water. You can just fill that up and not worry about it. In the center of the bag I have three pouches. This is a medium set piece by Jujubee and this is what I use for my makeup things and mommy things. So I have my favorite compact 
from Saint. This has my foundation, contour, some lip and cheek colors, things like that. I have a hand cream. This one is from Aldi and I actually really enjoy it. It works very well and the smell is nice too. I have a little travel perfume also from Saint. I have a Rare Beauty mascara, some brow products, and then my favorite lip balm from Ulla Henriksen is also down in the bottom there with my makeup brushes. So all of that fits really well, and for spending days out with the family, if you want to touch up before dinner, things like that, I like having this with me. Then the next pouch is a large piece from the Jujube B set. I love how this print looks with the bag, by the way. Look how pretty that is. And in here, this is where I keep my snacks. And as per usual, like in every video, I need to refill the snack bag. But I will do that before we go out for our next outing. Then I have my small piece from my Lily Jade packing case set. And this is where I keep any medical necessities, feminine needs. I have medicine. I have a chase stick, some deodorant, some floss, anything like that. This is one of my favorite pouches in my bags. It's just always good to be prepared if there's a boo-boo or anything like that. Then I also have this small piece from the trio and I forgot how much I love this packed as a wallet. I used to use the small piece from the B set as a wallet all of the time and somehow I forgot about it, but I just attached the included wristlet strap. If I'm going out without my kids, I can throw this on my arm. I can hook my keys onto here and it just has everything I need. I have another lip balm in there. I have a lip gloss from Wet n Wild, and then I have a Jujube coin purse with coins in it, and then I have a Be Charged with my cards, and if I had cash, which I don't, that would also fit down in here perfectly, and it's just so nice to throw over my wrist. When I get in my car, I throw it over the gear shift of my car, and I can just run into a store or whatever, and that works so well. So if you have some B sets lying around, highly recommend trying it as a wallet. Alright, so you do have quite a few pockets in the bag. You have this zipper pocket here. You have a slip pocket that you could use for a tablet or a laptop. You have an insulated pocket on this side. And then you have another pocket here. And then below where these wipes are, let me take them out so you can see. You do have two elasticated pockets down here. So in this first elasticated pocket, you see this in every video. I have my restaurant kit, and this is where I keep a straw, a Go Silly straw topper, some utensils, and then just some cleaning wipes in there. It is so convenient to have this. I don't think I will ever stop carrying this because I even use it for me when I, if you get takeout and they forget to give you utensils, whatever it may be. Then I have a sandwich size bag and I have this in case of any accidents. My son is potty trained and he doesn't really have accidents anymore, but just in case I like having a place to throw like garbage or dirty undies, anything could go in here. And I know that the rest of my bag is protected from getting dirty. And then in that same pocket, I just have a hand sanitizer. This one's from the Honest Company. I've used these for years. I love them. And the spray is just a game changer. Right next to that pocket here, I am just keeping a bunch of busy toys for my kids. So these are things that can save the day if there's a meltdown. We've got some Bluey characters. We've got some dinos. We've got some Paw Patrol. These are little pullback cars from the favorite section of Target. And these are such a hit with my kids. And yeah, it's just always good to have distractions. I think I lost a toy. There it is, another dino. <clears throat> All right, going to the side of the bag. Now keep in mind, I have this pack very full for like all day out in a city. So over here, I have my little selfie stick tripod. I love this thing. It comes in handy for recording content. And it also comes in handy when I'm with my family and I wanna get some shots of me and the kids or whatnot that I'm not always stuck behind the camera. Also in that pocket, I am stashing a mini umbrella because it is spring and that means it's rainy season and I just always want to have that, especially when I'm walking around a city. So now you can see that this is a foil, foil lined pocket. I don't love that. I'm going to be real honest. I hate when companies do this to the pockets, but the nice thing about it is if I were to need to use my umbrella, I feel very comfortable putting a wet umbrella back in the bag, so there's a rosy side to everything, I suppose. Then on the other side of the bag, you do get an almost identical pocket, but this one is not foil lined, and in here I am stashing some roll-on sunscreen. This one I just really like for the ease of application, and I like the ingredient list, and then I am also keeping a folding hairbrush for me and my daughter. All right, then in the laptop pocket here, I am keeping some drawing paper for the kids and then I have this case of colored pencils and I have one of those multicolored pens in here, just different things for them to draw and color with. And I am also keeping my Kindle for any wait times or for the drive in the car, anything like that. I 
love this i fought getting a kindle for a long time because i was like it's just not gonna feel like holding a book with the convenience and the fact that this weighs nothing and will fit in almost any bag highly highly recommend if you are a reader get get yourself a kindle you'll thank me later all right we're coming to the end friends i promise did i tell you she can hold a lot or what all right last pocket is this pocket right here and this is where i am keeping my battery pack i love this one because it can charge a lot of devices like multiple times and it has all three cords so this is the usb c which is for my phone and my tablet it also has the iphone one which i don't really need anymore but it also has the micro usb which charges my camera which Obviously, I'm using my camera, but my camera would be in here as well for a long day in the city. And so I like having this and knowing I can refuel whenever I need to. All right, friends, that's it. We made it to the end. That's everything I was carrying in my freshly picked classic diaper bag. I don't know why that's so hard for me to say. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you did. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.